and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Arcbow, my favorite deck to play right now in Ranked. And uh, good thing that we're on it uh, here. It's been a while since we have played it, and we could use some some wins, uh, get back some of the rank that we lost earlier with Mono Green Tron here. Um, so yeah, so like basically what this deck is doing is this deck is it's it's completely built around Vivian's Arcbow and, and just maximizing Vivian Zarkbo, honestly, um, but then also having good interaction, um, you know. Besides that, uh, the main thing that we were trying to do here is get our with the Arcbo is to get these uh, instant speed angels in the air, Shalai and Lyra. That's what we're mostly going to be doing. These are our two cards that they're not they're not like super flashy, you know, like they don't like uh look real real powerful or anything like that but they they win games and like that's all we're, we're doing here you know like we're not doing anything uh incredible but we're just just trying to win games with shalai and lyra in the air um got the two spark doubles in here because i've been just really impressed with this card and we're trying to uh combo with shalai and spark double to make everything hex proof which happens a, a good amount of time especially whenever you're looking six seven eight cards deep every single turn uh while activating your arc bow uh, you can you can get that set up. Uh, Teferi is just a just an amazing card, so that's in here. Frilled Mystics are really good at you know countering stuff, uh, which is really nice. And it's kind of our deck. It's not like super flashy or anything. We just kind of gum up the ground and uh, win in the air. That's that's the goal. That's our plan. We got Immortal Suns in here against the uh, Planeswalker decks to come on in. Uh, time wipe for aggro, Tristani for the manipulation decks. The the one thing that I'm I'm trying since the last time that we've played it, like the last few times that we've played it, we've had a lot of success. I've had two baffling ends in the main deck, and I had one of the frilled mystics and one of the spark doubles over in the sideboard. So the thing that I'm trying here though is I basically bring these in against almost everything, and so I'm going to try having these in the main and not having the two baffling ends in the main, and I hope that I don't get run over. Uh, by aggro without having those two baffling ends in the main deck. So that's that's something I'm going to try changing there. But all right, that's our deck. Uh, let's get started. Let's change from Vivian. I guess this we are Vivian's Arcbow deck. I'm going to go with Tristani, though. Nature will reclaim this land. Vivian wasn't giving us the best of luck it was all right earlier but we're gonna play like around five matches or so okay let's put our record up here zero and zero Alright, let's give this a try. <laughs> Another try. There we go, that's better. How's your day been, Hawkeye? Mono white. Splash blue is our first matchup. No blocks. Right on schedule. I've got it. Ooh. All right, so we get to play Oketra next turn and then spark double Oketra. That's our plan. Yeah, we got the time wipe in the sideboard. That go according to plan. 
But Lyra and Shalai are cards that we want to be drawing also. Uh, really do not want to see... Like, really, as long as our opponent doesn't have Conclave Tribunal, we can, pro we can probably stabilize here if our opponent doesn't have Conclave Tribunal. Uh, or or Oketra. Or, sorry, or Teferi. That bounces Oketra also. That's more like it. Never mind. Not basically, if they had a removal spell for Oketra, we were in a lot of trouble. But if they didn't, I thought we could stabilize. But they had removal, so. We need them to not have removal. All right, so we'll bring in all these baffling ends now. The Time Wipe, all these Knight of Autumns, the Tristani. A lot of pretty good cards here. We'll cut the Frilled Mystics and the Time Ravelers. I have to trim a 5-drop with all those other 5-drops. We'll take out an Oketra and the Time Ravelers. All right, got some good up upgrades here. Uh, they play a lot of enchantments. Knight of Autumn is to destroy History Banalia, destroy Legion's Landing, destroy Conclave Tribunal. But, yeah, Knight, Knight trades with, um, with History Banalia, even, like, being on the draw, like, letting History hit first and then play Knight, and, and Knight still trades by blows up the, the History and then can trade with the 2-2. Did I just play 61? Well, 61 special, because 53 plus 8, yeah, 61 special. <laughs> 61 cards just in an alternative form of card advantage. Not sure if that's true, but absolutely it is. All right, so we're going to take one hit here, but we're looking pretty good after we take this hit. Looking pretty good, though. Okay, not looking as good. <laughs> this hit's coming in for a little bit more. That's a little tougher. Yeah, I, I was thinking that I didn't want the deputy attention to die. 
Um, but yeah, just just wasting that that turn. Definitely wish I would have just saved it, because uh, yeah, we would have been able to get the knight of the knight tokens instead. Definitely wish I would have just saved the deputy. All right, so we need to hit Shalai or Spark Double. Shalai or Spark Double. Or nothing. <clears throat> yep, got punished for basically every decision I made that game. The deputy blocking with the blocking with the Lanor elf and then drawing Tristani. Every decision ended up being the wrong one. That's alright. Yep, magic be like that sometimes. That's how it's been for me today. Oh, thanks, Milligan. Glad you're enjoying the stream. I wouldn't mind playing against Mono White all the time. I think that's a good matchup for us. I think I kind of messed that one up and our opponent drew pretty well. But that's a, a matchup I like facing. So going with the breeding pool so that I can play Teferi on turn two. Well, don't have to worry about that now. I haven't heard anything about a Sarah Planeswalker. I can no longer stand by and watch. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about that. If that is a thing. All right, need another white mana source. Again. There we go. No Gideon. No Gideon for you. No, that that was not that was not real Br Briblek. That was account created ten minutes ago. All right, so we're playing against red-white stuff. See so yeah, how it's how these they're just cyborg, just like it's mono-white. So what did what did I forget to take out? Because this is what I wanted to do against mono-white, but I had sixty-one. I must not have like clicked like all the Teferis or all the Frilled Mystics out or something. Well, Gideon, uh, main phase, so you can activate it, give your creature, I don't know, indestructible lifelink, something like that. Uh, I guess that's what they were, 
That's why they were playing the Gideon main phase there. So yeah, cause yeah, give indestructibility to the two two war boss, and then you can attack into the into the arc bow. Makes sense. Hey Star. Yeah, I got the Sarah sleeve. I think it makes sense to play Gideon main phase, honestly. Super thick border, obviously marked cards. Oh, Dreadhorde Arcanist. Well, that's not good. I'll kill my land war off also. So this is a feather deck. Well, I bored like it was just like a red white aggro deck. Uh, I don't know exactly what I would do differently, though, for Feather. Oh, the Time Wipe. That's That was the thing that was different from like how I, I sideboarded last time. Is I brought in the Time Wipe, and I didn't bring in the Time Wipe this time. Wow. Well, good thing we scried a land to the bottom. So yeah, nine mana and eleven cards is what we've seen. Nine lands and eleven cards. All right, reckless rage kills that, and we take lethal here. All right, so they're a feather deck. This card seems a little better. So does that card. This card definitely seems worse. I don't think these Growth Chamber Guardians are really that necessary. Honestly. Dang, 19 creatures though. It's not many creatures. You have to keep Mythic until the season ends to make the Invitational or Urna just once. Yeah, so yeah, you're talking about the, the Mythic Championship Qualifier is uh, for the people that are ranked in the top 1,000 at the very end of the season. So that's if you want to qualify for that, you have to be at the top 1,000 at the very end of the season. Doesn't matter what your rank is during the season. Yes, uh, every single season is, every single month is a new season. So it's basically the beginning of the month to the end of the month, every month. All right, so that stops two cards in my deck, or I guess I guess three total cards. I guess Tristani, Deputy. Uh, I took out the Frilled Mystic, so it's only just the, the two Deputies and the one Tristani. Because there's no Frilled Mystics in here. So I am just going to be ditching the Deputy. Let's 
get rid of that. No, it did not reset today. No, it reset a little while ago. Okay, we could hit Shalai here. No, Lyra. Uh, Armstrong, you can't. They haven't announced that. When the next ones are. Go, big flyers, go. But yeah, having reckless rage every single turn, it's going to be pretty tough. It's, it's going to be re pretty rough, but... Doesn't make this Tristani seem like a very good card. I guess I'll maybe ditch this Tristani. Okay. Double Lyra. Lyra just bring in the W. Please keep the language. Uh, PG. Don't use that word. So you said, isn't Tristani lethal where, um, well, if my, if I would have played Tristani, my opponent could have just killed it before damage with that reckless rage that was in their hand. So it's, it's not like the Tristani actually added any value there. So shock and lightning strike from this Grixis deck. Is this Phoenix? I want a growth chamber guardian to be like bait over arc bow kind of thing. Sorry, I'm late. Draw land. This might Yuck. be a bad idea. Okay, it is Phoenix. This is hardly my worst defeat. Land? Ugh. There's no lands anywhere. Alright, so if we can get the Shalai combo here, their out is Dispersal. <laughs> yeah, whenever we activate Arcbow, that'll be all the lands. We'll find them then. True. There we go. Alright, now we just need to find Shalai. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to get Shalai here and let them use like a sorcerer speed removal spell like Angrass Rampage or anything like that, Lava Coil, to kill Shalai. So I'm going to just get it. I'm going to be looking for it instant speed. You know, trying to get it on end step. So we can dodge Lava Coil. Oh, wait, yeah, <laughs> Rampage, I guess, doesn't work with Shalai, sorry. Coil, though. So I think my opponent has the red finale for how they've been looking at the graveyard and everything. I think they have the red finale. Hmm. We'll find Shalai slash lands at some point. <laughs> I know I did just put three lands down to the bottom. We have 26 lands in this deck. You know, like I, I do have a lot of lands in this deck because uh, hitting the land drops, you know, with, with arc bows, pretty important. There goes a rampage. Well, at least Lanorolf gives us another mana to use. Now we can dig five deep. Um, do I want to ditch a spark double and play the land to look six deep? We already know the nine. We know the nine cards down at the bottom are not Shalai's, for example. So that means there's only th there's thirty two cards left. Looking at three each. Uh, Manosh, no, I, I don't. Uh, it was a lot, though. Um, no, I'll just ditch the Temple Garden. <laughs> hmm. There's Finale. Rampage and Shock. Alright, gonna do this now because we could hit either Shalai or um, Furled Mystic. Nope.
<laughs> yeah, we have 40 cards left. Uh, we've we know the bottom 10, right? Or I don't know, maybe more. No, we knew we knew nine last turn, so we know the bottom 13 right now. I don't really want to give my opponent an Arc Light Phoenix back to start hitting me. Alright, so putting the Oketra back did not work out there. I was hoping to draw the land. <laughs> no. Yeah, you you would think Oketra has reach, but no. Oketra has double strike, not reach. Oh, I should have tried to counter this. Yeah, they just got rid of those two. I should have tried to look for Frilled Mystic here. So we have we have three other frilled mystics we don't know about also. I know that one frilled mystic is towards the bottom. We've seen one so far. So we only do get to look at three cards because I put this Oketra back. All right, well, not... Not the Frilled Mystic to counter it, but only get to Lightning Strike. So we can have... There's all the Shalai's now. We can have the Shalai combo. It's no more targeting my stuff. And now we need to find Lyra. That thing's big. We know one Lyra. I've seen li one Lyra so far with, with Arc Bowing. One's towards the bottom. There should be two more. <laughs> There's all the Shalais. Well, let's just get another one. Or I guess let's just get this Deputy. Yeah. Why don't I just do that? Why don't I... <laughs> Let's just do that. That'll just give us eight power in there at eight. <laughs> That's reasonable. All right. What do we want? I want vetoes. Pretty surprised that deputies actually survived that long, but they, they used so many removal spells earlier on my stuff. I don't really have a good sideboard for this matchup. It's not like nothing here in my sideboard is very good. So do I just run it back? Whoops. <laughs> Killing our opponent's cool, I guess. We don't get three shallies, but yeah. Um, yeah, Time Raveler shuts down Finale. So that's good. Um,. Does not shut down mission briefing. They were a whole lot more spell heavy though, as we saw, you know, rampages, thought erasures, duress, you know, like they looked really spell heavy, so maybe I just want like vetoes instead of time ravelers. Because it's it is pretty hard to like like actually protect time ravelers. They could be playing counter magic here in the board. I think I want vetoes though. I want to be able to protect uh my cards like Shalai and Lyra from removal. Baffling End does nothing against Phoenix. Baffling End only exiles creatures with converted mana cost 3 or less. An Arc Light Phoenix cost 4 mana. So 
that doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, vetoing finales is nice, or just vetoing uh, removal can be good. Yeah, this is a this is a quality song here. Paradise Druid. Let's just pass. Hmm. I thought they'd be trying to get back Phoenix. Play a spell. Okay. Basically don't want to make it easier for them to continue to hit land drops and get Phoenixes back. And happy just to troll Mystic that. Did give them a couple of targets for removal spells, though. Dang, two phoenixes. All right, so we draw a land next turn. I, I get to play Shalai plus Deputy. If we hit this next, hit the seventh land drop, um, that's the plan. I actually, decline. All right, land drop. Yeah. Could also just deputied and then keep kept Frilled Mystic up to counter the first removal spell, I suppose. Yeah, our opponent's playing a little bit different deck. They're playing like Grixis Phoenix. They've they've been somewhat black heavy. Game one had duress, thought erasure, and grass rampage. Yeah, this makes them have two removal spells, plus if they don't have two removal spells immediately, then we get to have Frilled Mystic after this. So, like, we, we're looking really good if we get to untap here. And, like, the first removal spell can't just be, like, one Lightning Strike kind of thing. You know, they can't just, like, light, Lightning Strike Deputy and then I Frilled Mystic it kind of thing. They'd have to have, like, Lightning Strike plus Shock to take care of Shalai and then something else. 
for deputy. Because yeah, so we're making making those removal spells be more specific. Yep. Yeah, deputy's value certainly goes up a whole lot when you're playing Shalai. <laughs> They're staring at their Angras for Mpage to discuss. Possible. Okay, well, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, finale's great. Uh, you're welcome, Saya. Thanks for watching. All right, we're in a tough spot now. Good thing we're up a game. That contempt was pretty clutch. I mean, I need to counter this. Just don't, just hope they don't have like another removal spell in those four cards, I guess. Every problem has a solution. Let's start by taking you out of the equation. Hmm. Like a bolt. All right. Well, I'm definitely glad we brought in the Dovin's vetoes. All right, deputy. Dang. So definitely glad for the Dovin's vetoes, and I kind of feel like maybe I should just be playing these time ravelers as well. A mortal stone honestly doesn't seem so bad. I guess they have some artifact removal. All right, Teferi's as well. Try to shut down Finale. Hey, McCarty. So why... So... If... Yeah, I guess just Mission Briefing gets... Yeah, they surveil too and then cast the other spell, and yeah, I guess they could have countered the other spell, but... Um, keep them from surveilling the two. And... Set, and... Which, you know, helps them set up. Because it's not like we were going to just end the game right away there. We were quite a ways away from any of the game, so keeping them from sur from surveilling too, but yeah, you know, maybe I just wanted to um, want to see if they cast Red Finale again and like tap all sorts of mana and then counter it. That could maybe work. All right, well, we got vetoes this time, but we're going to need mana now. Wow, no mana for them? Just move to discard. Interesting. Well, I probably don't want to turn on shock, right? So, like, I'm just not going to attack or, or tap for arc bow. They had to have kept, like, a hand with shocks. Yeah, they gotta be sitting with shocks over there. Well, what kind of auto tap was this? I need, I was didn't really pay attention to that, but that's that's an unfortunate auto tap. Hmm. 
Nah, you don't need, you don't get to draw two. Hmm. No, they're not. They're not holding lands to discard to be able to discard Phoenix now. Consider attacking last turn. Probably should have, but I think we're going to be okay. All right, two and one. <laughs> yeah, Arc Bow is pretty sweet. Never know what you're going to get. You can get anything. You can get anything. Yeah, Arc Bow, Frilled Mystic is a really good combination for sure. I want to have flashbacks to Van Company decks. Yeah, doing some ranked here uh, instead of the constructed event. We're pretty close to Mythic. You know, I've been in Mythic for the other uh, seasons. Like this season, just haven't haven't played a lot, so we're we're almost getting back. We're at Diamond or whatever. Uh, the four losses with Mono Green Tron didn't help out too much there. Yeah, the next standard expansion is. Uh, Corset 2020, which releases. Can I get that land back now? Uh, which releases next month, uh, July 12th ish, somewhere around there. Ah, it's not mono red. All right, well I feel better about the Paradise Druid surviving now. Hey Zerv. Happy Sunday. Oh no! I didn't want to see that card at all. I was like, yay, it's not mono red. They won't have Chain Whirler. And then boom, Chain Whirler. And I was like, no. Definitely getting punished for dip for putting this land at the bottom though. Come on, all I want to do is play my angels. Yeah, game started off rough earlier. But have been going well recently here. Gosh, I want to block that Growth Chamber Guardian, but I just shouldn't. Come on, land. Come on, land. Hooray. So of course they could have Collision Colossus to kill the Lyra. That'd be sad. All right, good thing we we played the five mana card instead of the four mana card. Really, they have they have the Death Touch combo. Wow, sweet life. That's just lethal. All right, bringing all the baffling ends in, cutting the the time wasters. Uh, let's bring this time wipe. Um, hmm. How are we doing creature wise? Twenty seven. 
So do I want to cut Deputies or do I want to cut Paradise Druids? I mean, Paradise Druid is usually pretty nice, but it's so rough against Chain Whirler, as we saw there. Um, hey, what's up, Kalua King? Getting on that eight-month streak for sub number eight. That's just good numbers. That is true. Teferi does shut off status combo, but they still can just use statue. And Teferi's just real slow. Or like it just, just gets killed real easily. Maybe I'll play one over this other Paradise Druid. No, never take bows out. No. Yes, Arc Bow is definitely better than Vanfar. They are... I mean, you have to build around Vanifar also, but, I mean, Arc, Arc Bow is just awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Toxic Flames, for that resub there for your ninth month. Or, sorry, sub number nine on the day for a 16th month streak. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Cool, yeah, yeah, glad you're playing the list, having fun with it. Good to hear. Hmm. So, of course, if I bounce Thorn Lieutenant, they get a 1-1 that kills the Teferi. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. So, yeah, just going to plus the 1 the Teferi. Very careful. I'm all right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? No more games. It's only a matter of time. Alright, get more mana. The more mana, the better with Arcbow. Next turn, I'll have five mana. We can ditch the Arc Bow, maybe potentially six if we draw land. <clears throat> Our green deck's moving back to Thorn because of Baby Teferi. Yep. Yep. That's why uh, Thorn Lieutenant. And also just Mono Red. Like, Thorn Lieutenant's good against Mono Red also. So, a lot of decks are Mono Red or um, Little Teferi. And Thorn Lieutenant's really good against both of those. This is tough. I'm actually just going to go this route. Way to go, Max. Congratulations on making diamond. Good job. You're going to hurt when this is through. So I could have like held up Arcbow to try to Frilled Mystic the Hellkite or you know maybe find like a Shalai if they uh, you know have like the 5-5 five, five haste here. Or sorry not Shalai but Lyra. I don't know if I outrace them but I kind of feel like I'm going to outrace them with a couple of Ketras. No, I'm 
already at 13. Hmm. I guess I'm not out racing. Maybe I should just activate Arc Bow. So yeah, I guess I, I think I'm just gonna yeah, I think we're going to spark double deputy and take out Hellkite. Like the other Oketra would be a 4-7. Please no Chain Whirler combo. Hooray! Alright, well that Teferi looked pretty awful there. Do I play a Mortal Sun? Or playing both Domries at least? Or I could just play a Veto. I think I either want to play, you know, I, the choices are either one Paradise Druid, one Veto, one Immortal Sun. Uh, Immortal Sun's expensive. I think I'm off Immortal Sun. I think it's either Veto or Paradise Druid. Yeah, Paradise Druid on the draw versus Chain Whirler. Not something that I'm excited about. So we will go ahead and play the Veto. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of baffling ends. That card's good. Alright, drew the best card in the deck. Let's not let them just activate that and go get a bunch more of those. No more shock lands. I want non-shock lands. I don't want to pay t pay life. I don't like paying life. Gross. It's a good card. There we go. No. Bad Hellkite. Stop with these shock lands. Now this enchantment exiles the creature for good but if the whenever the enchantment leaves the battlefield then they get a 3-3 three, three dinosaur I'm just too scared of this 
this chain ruler combo. I'm just too scared of it. Vladimus! Thanks for that sub there. Always enjoy watching your streams. Aw, thank you so much. All right, so we are at, got to our sub goal there, uh, at the 10 subs there. So we are going to be cracking open a pack after this. Lyra, save me, Lyra. Mm. I'll take that one. Lyra. Well, Growth Chamber Guardian, this next turn is going to be a four-four, right? Because I'll just I can just play my land, spark double the Lyra, activate the Growth Chamber Guardian, make it a four-four. The Lyra Guardian Angel. She really is a, my Guardian Angel. It's better than one, Lyra. Two of them. Spark Double is sweet. These things are so big now. Um, do I want... So we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right now for Arc Bow. Just debating whether or not to, we want to play the land or not, and I'm gonna go with land. All right, so now we need to find a deputy. Get rid of those things. I wouldn't mind a Shalai either. All right, deputy, that's convenient. And there we go. Arco is so cool. It's just like, what card do you want? Here's here's that card that you want. It's like, thanks, Arco. That was the card that I wanted. All right, let's crack open one of these packs. We hit a sub goal. Yeah, Arco is so good. Karn's Bastion. I only have like one or two rares left to open before I have 4x of all the rares, so um, we're almost there. We're like almost, almost have all the rares in the set. Took my stepson to this first standard showdown last night. Came in third place in the very first event ever. That is awesome. That's, that's really nice to hear, Vladimir. Yeah, that's really cool. 
Uh, hope, yeah, I hope he had a, a really good time and everything too, and that's really cool. A little bit of awkward mana here. <laughs> He's hooked now. <laughs> Yeah, if our opponent would have played a Deputy of Attention, it would have exiled both Lyra's, yeah. I think. Yeah. Right? I guess I'd have to read Spark Double. I'm pretty sure Spark Double means it keeps its name as well. So no, I don't get to keep World Mystic up for this turn, but it's just so much better for me to have the Arcbow and Girl's Chamber Guardian as other options instead of, like, just have World Mystic and then do I want to counter it? No, and get rid of it kind of thing. I'm glad they didn't get rid of Lyra, or the Llanowar Elf. Right, this turn, though, they could have Nyssa. This is the Nyssa turn, so I'm going to be keeping World Mystic up here. That ain't happening. You know what? Let's play this card. Playing it makes like my spark double better if we hit a spark double. There's a way to get rid of prison realms. Turn and face the strange changes. So, yeah, we'll play July first before Deputy. So we can protect Deputy. That's another. Speaking of cards that are good to Deputy, that's a good one to Deputy also. But I'm gonna just yoink these prison realms real quick. Give me those. Give me those. So we draw land, we activate Shalai next turn. We have the two Growth Chamber Guardians out. So they both trigger with the Shalai activation. We get to go grab two more Growth Chamber Guardians out of our deck. This or yeah, we could try to find Spark Double. Try this. All right, getting that land war off down so that we do have the six mana for Shalai. Through this land, we are all connected. The land shall conquer you.
This is getting choppy here. Triggers. Let's get both of those. All right, Krasis down. So we have freed up the air. Hopefully the air stays free where we can, you know, attack Nissa and Teferi next turn with no defense, activating Arc Bow, looking for Spark Double next turn. The land fights for us. Yeah, I guess it's another crisis. Nope, it's a finale. Hmm. Don't worry. I, got I forgot about that thing making that thing makes angels too. How's that even beatable? like not even remotely beatable Honestly, I probably shouldn't even attack Nissa there. Probably should just hold back Lyra to block. Yeah, speaking of finale of glory. Get, get, get out. Get, get, get out. Get, get, get out of here. Yeah, there's still 13 three threes on the ground. Behold, nature's true power. So yeah, that's that's actually lethal. I need to hold back Lyra. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have attacked with Lyra. Time wipe. Yeah, so our opponent's also going to be playing Immortal Sun, right? So, like, we're, we could have... But, yeah, we can have Immortal Sun 2. Um, I don't think I really want Little Teferi, honestly. So what if we do this? I mean, I, I do want Dovin's Vetoes for, like, all the... Like, their main things are... I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's just, again, just taking out Growth, Growth Chamber Guardians...
Yeah, I think we're doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Finale makes angels on top of the 2-2s two if X is greater than 10, yeah. Hey, Greybender. Yeah, I like, yeah, I like this deck quite a bit. Um, this is my first time playing, playing against the new Bant deck that everybody's playing here with, like, those cards we saw, you know, like Nissa Teferi, um, that white finale, the Immortal Sun. It used to be everybody was playing, everybody used to play, like, the manipulation, the, the Bant Mass Manipulation, and I think that my deck's really good against the manipulation deck, but now that they've moved on from manipulation and have gone to this combination here, I don't, I don't know. You know, like I, that was my very first game playing against it. I should have played Knight of Autumn. That should be on the other card that I played. Because, yeah, we saw Prison Realms also. I'll just have, like, some Knight of Autumns in here. The Paradise Druid is, is my second white source, which isn't great. All right. I, I mean, I, I honestly was not expecting Ixalan's Bindings at all. Um, so I, next time I play against this, I'm definitely going to be bringing in Knight of Autumns. I just, I was not expecting Ixalan's Bindings. Well, hopefully we, hopefully we somehow squeak out this game with the Oketra, and we get to bring in Knight of Autumns for Game Three. That'd be nice. So, I mean, they can, if they block with everything, I only get to kill the 4-4 land. Because, like, if I kill the 2-2, two -two, I mean, I could kill both 2-2s. Two or kill the 4-4 four -four land.
All right, getting rid of the land. I'm not supposed to draw more lands. Ugh. Why not kill Tristani? Yeah, they have to block with Tristani. I couldn't. I can't just like kill Tristani. I have nothing that, that kills it. All right. So, you know, like like I said, uh, like I said at the beginning of this game, this is my first time playing this matchup. I uh, definitely learned that. Knight of Autumn would be awesome here, so we need we need to bring in all the Knight of Autumns. Uh, that was something I didn't realize before, but that's good. Hey, Mugton. Yeah, things are going really good. I mean, we're just gonna die to the Shalai activation and everything, and Immortal Sun drawing multiple cards a turn. So Ketra doesn't save me next turn. Yeah, we're pretty dead. All right, but we, but I learned some stuff, so that's good. All right, I want to play one more here with our deck here. That's fine. I think we're going to have enough mana. I think we'll be fine. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. <laughs> I'll protect you. Thanks to Fairy. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I'll just take up their next turn. This gives me the opportunity to resolve the Growth Chamber Guardian and activate it while they're tapped out. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, bouncing bolus is like looting. Yeah. That is true. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Which we had a lot of lands to loot away, so that was just fine. So they have just the basic mountain over there and then all blue-black duels. Hmm. I'm a little surprised they didn't just shock here and then flip the bolus.
All right, there's Flip to Bolas. I can no longer stand. Don't worry, I got this. And another land. <laughs> you have to fairy betraying us there. I know what must be done. All right, they're drawing three cards a turn. I'm picking it up. Let's switch up our deck. Let's get all these vetoes in here and these immortal suns. Um, Deputy and Teferi can go. Uh, that looks pretty good. I mean, Tristani. Yeah, let's play Tristani over Elyra. It's really, do I want Knight of Autumns or not? I think the answer is not, but Knight of Autumns, you know, can destroy and has Kanto, which which is always really nice. They basically play them over the Paradise Druids with us, you know, likely having enough mana and everything. Yeah, we can do that. Right. How do I answer Thief? Just block it. Have them not play it. Thief is not the card I'm trying to beat. I'm trying to be able to have enough cards to outlast all of their removal spells. Well, this is great. Remember last game when we had 11 lands? Well, we have a little bit less than 11 lands this time. Neither Captain Obvious. Heck, if we can untap and if we can draw a land here and untap. All right. We can actually have like Frilled Mystics up to counter their things. Not looking so bad. Keep drawing lands, baby. Well, we'll take that one, I suppose. That's seven cards in hand, though. It's too many cards. All right, we need a land drop. Yay. Otherwise, we have to like go to discard. So just hopefully keep it, getting these land drops. Bleh. just gone to discard and just discarded something and still been able to keep Frilled Mystics up. I 
have other schemes to attempt. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot explain. All right, no artifact removal, please. Grixis plays a good amount of artifact removal, so it's not like this Immortal Sun is safe, but if it can just be safe for a turn, just one turn. Yay. Yay. Honestly, I probably should have just kept that other Frilled Mystic and just kept all four of them. Honestly. I don't really need to worry about Frilled Mystic saving creatures. I need to make sure that we can save Immortal Sun. Because I'm drawing two cards a turn. Our opponent's drawing one card a turn. So that's what I need to counter. The second artifact. If they did something to kill the Dawnbringer here, I would have just let it happen. Arc bow for just a G. We'll take it, and it's a second artifact. Bleh. All right, now just in case, we'll kill both of these. Counter that. All right, Immortal Sun coming in clutch. Ugh. The sound bug is going right now. So I need a reset. You'll have to let me know whenever that, that sound bug is going. Oh, I never published the Grixis Control YouTube video. Need to do that. It's all it's uploaded, but I just gotta gotta title it. Thought Erasured away at Night of Autumn. I guess that's a, a good point to playing Night of Autumn. That's great. Of course, I have to play into Kefnet here. The 
Focus and hone your prowess. All right, so it shuts down Narset. We don't get to draw two cards a turn, though, because of Narset. Yeah, the white finale in, in Bant Rap is really good. Um, the metagame is going to, like, other decks are going to have to start adapting to that. Like, there needs to be a lot more sweepers being played than what are being played right now. All right, lost to Grixis. That's always been one of the matches that one of the matchups I've liked the least with my Ban Arcbow deck because of how easy they can deal with artifacts and everything and the removal they have. Not too surprised we lost that, um, but you know Grixis isn't a very highly played deck. Um, but that's that's not one that I like running into with Bant Arcbow. Here. Um, so yeah, we did okay with the three three. The the matchup that you know we lost the the very first one to Mono White, which was like really really unfortunate. I think that that's a quite a good matchup for us. Um, but from from some a little bit of bad luck on our side to really good hands from our opponent's side, you know, we ended up losing that. Um, the other playing against the other the Bant Ramp deck, you know, with this uh, was definitely a lot harder for us than B Bant Manipulation. You know, before the Bant, Manip Bant Mass Manipulation was a good matchup, and that new Bant Ramp deck did not feel nearly as good. I'll have to, you know, play that matchup some more, really, to see what I would want to do uh, for that matchup here, what to change. There's nothing, like, immediately that I want to change, um, but need some more practice here. So, there we go. All right, um, if you are uh, watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you so much for watching. That's it here for Bant Arcbow. Uh, yep, Hawkeye, that's it for our video here. So, um, yeah, I will see you for the next video. Take care.